Welcome to UK Explored, where we visit areas of the UK so that you don't have to. In this video, we're heading back to Swindon, which has been one of the most popular locations we featured on this channel so far. This time, I'm exploring two of the highest crime districts in Swindon, according to stats published by crimerate.co.uk. And these areas are Eastcott and Walcott, which is split into East and West. We're going to start off in Walcott, which is a suburb of Swindon. And like I said, it's split into east and west, and it's located a couple of miles from the town centre. It's become a bit of a running joke on this channel about how many sofas, fridges, mattresses, and other bulky items I see dumped on the street or front garden. So in this video, I'm going to run a little counter in the corner. Anyway, so Walcott East and West are both in the top five most dangerous crime areas in Swindon. Walcott East is also listed as one of the most deprived areas in Swindon, and the whole of Wiltshire for that matter. So it's pretty evident that the area is struggling, which I never like to see, but unfortunately it's becoming a more serious and widespread issue across the UK these days. The demographic data for the area shows us that it's predominantly a white area, and the housing is mostly a mix of flats with a couple of high-rise tower blocks, terrace housing and semi-detached social housing. Obviously it's a fairly safe area to walk around during the day for the most part. I did it, I didn't have any problems but there was no ignoring the high crime rate across this area. There have been some pretty crazy headlines in recent months coming out of Walcott as well. This one here was a story of a woman who seriously injured a couple of guys, stabbing one of them in the neck. I read loads of stories involving police busts on homes in the area where they seized dangerous weapons, class A drugs and stuff like that. A teenager was fatally stabbed earlier this year. And high speed police chases don't seem that uncommon. Here's a look at the two main tower blocks in Walcott. They're very similar to the tower blocks in Penhill, which is an area in Swindon I've also covered on a previous video. I'll put a link up in the corner for that one. We know from social studies that tower blocks have a much higher crime rate inside and surrounding them than normal housing. So I don't doubt that this is where a lot of the antisocial behavior happens. As you can see generally from the footage, the area is in need of a good tidy up. There was loads of litter pretty much everywhere I looked as I was walking around, a lot of which was evidence of drinking, like beer cans and bottles, and drug taking. And there were a lot of bulky items dumped or fly tips, and loads of flats had loud music blasting out as I was walking around, and I even heard a few domestics with people shouting. This is all the kind of stuff I see a lot of the comments on my other Swindon videos echoing. Residents there are saying that the area has been going downhill over the years, and like a lot of the areas in the UK that I feature, it seems to be accelerating in recent years. Even so, the average house price across the ward of Walcott for the last year was in the 250000 range, which is a harsh reminder of just how expensive housing is in Swindon. And that there is someone who is proud to be English and live in Swindon. The next area I went to was Eastcott which is an area located just south of the town centre. Eastcott has the proud title of being the highest crime area in Swindon, along with Central South, which is stats are grouped. As you'll see from the footage, it's a very different area to Walcott. Eastcott is a more diverse area, and being close to the town centre, it has a much more dense population, and also suffers with a lot of the enhanced antisocial issues that towns or city centres have to deal with. Walking around Eastcott, as you'll see from the footage, the buildings and public spaces are in a lot worse condition than Walcott. The graffiti is completely out of control. There are a few decent murals and examples of talented street artists, but it's mostly just mindless tagging, both on public and private property. Looking around on the floor, I saw loads of obvious signs of drink and drug use. There are lots of those cans that are used for ballooning, which is something that I also pointed out a lot in my video in Smethic. The way the housing is designed, I mean, there are a lot of these narrow back alleyways, which of course is a magnet for litter, fly tipping, drug use, and crime at night. And just look at this alley here. Is this not the worst alley you've ever seen? How have neither the residents or the council managed to disturb these weeds growing that must have taken years? This was the best play area I saw on the day. Reading through the types of crimes that go down in Eastcott, it certainly steps it up a notch from Walcott. There are loads of incidents involving organised crime gangs, 
stuff like trafficking people and large amount of drugs. Serious assaults are common as our cannabis grows and other drug offences. At the end of the day, there will be people who live in Eastcott that say it's fine and they love it there. And I'm sure some people live there without incident. But the stats do not lie. It's a high crime area. If you live there, the chance of you needing to file a police report at some point is very high. The real questions we should be asking is why areas like Eastcott have such high crime rates and also why and how these areas are allowed to deteriorate the way they do. I was also shocked at just how badly decayed a lot of Eastcott is. There are a lot of buildings clearly in need of repair or restoration. As you can see from the footage, there are plants and weeds growing out of places it shouldn't be. And it just looks like it's taken years of neglect to get to this point. For the privilege of living in Eastcott, you'd have to pay around 221,000 on average. But I guess you might get a cannabis grow in the loft thrown in if you're lucky. Anyway, that about wraps it up for this video. This was a look inside a couple of areas in Swindon that you may have not seen before, even if you live in or around Swindon. But it's the reality of what more and more areas in the UK are looking like at the moment. If you enjoyed this video, please take the time to press the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps this video reach more people. Feel free to recommend any other areas around the UK you think will be of interest to our audience, or we might just go and check them out. Cheers.